Welcome to the Chargers. Marty Schottenheimer has more wins than any other NFL coach that has never been to a Super Bowl. And what does he get for winning the final 10 games with San Diego? A matchup with Bill Belichick in the there divisional is. round. Yeah. At least it is in California. Hey, how are you? Jason Horns and NFL.com's Pat Kerwin with you on the Visa NFL preview. And Pat, let's get right into this matchup because last year, they didn't play this season, but last year, right. the Chargers went into New England and spanked the Patriots 41-17, and they did it with a lot of LaDainian Tomlinson. They had 183 rushing yards. Now you see the league's MVP's numbers from this season. Flat out, right. how does New England stop LT? Well, I think New England has looked at a lot of things they've gone. I know Belichick, and I got a chance to talk to Bill Belichick this week, although he wouldn't disclose his game plan. But he went back, I'm sure, years back. And if you go back to 2002, there are 38 games where LaDainian Tomlinson did not get 100 yards rushing. And what's revealing about that is the team record in those games, 15 and 23. So how do you do it? You get in your 3-4 defense. Oh, the Patriots play 3-4. You play two-gap. You don't penetrate. You don't send anybody across the line of scrimmage and create gaps for LaDainian Tomlinson. You work the thing down the line of scrimmage, and you use corner contain. The one thing you watch when you watch LaDainian and he runs at bust outside, linebackers that have to contain. LaDainian's too athletic, and he, gets, he breaks contain on him. I think you'll see corner contain, which they like to do. No pass rush at all, no rush on the line of scrimmage, and be happy to get him to a two-yard gain each time he carries the ball. Patriots were uh, the fifth-best rushing defense in the NFL during the season and held the Jets to 70 yards last week in the wild-card right. matchup. All right, at the other matchup here as far as offensively, you've got a battle of two totally separate quarterbacks. Tom Brady, who was 11-1 in the playoffs, and on the other side you see mm. Phillip Rivers, who has not taken a playoff snap. So you've got experience Rookie, and if LaDainian Tomlinson isn't going, Phillip Rivers is going to have a very tough day. Well, Phillip Rivers struggled a little bit down the stretch here, but that would be typical for a first-year quarterback as people start to get that defensive tape to understand how to play him. But we are also talking about a quarterback that's going to the Pro Bowl versus a guy not going to the Pro Bowl, and don't think that's burning in the craw of Tom Brady. Here's what Tom will do. He'll come out, and he's going he's to try to win this game with a spread offense. Why? You need to get this thing with almost no one in the backfield to get Merriman and Sean Phillips away from the box, at least move them out two steps so they've got to come from a longer uh, distance to get to Brady. If you play conventional formations, Merriman will dominate this thing. He's had two sacks a game for the last six weeks. He's out of control. Phillips is just as good. I expect shotgun, no huddle. Full spread. That's what Brady will do. Rivers is hoping that LaDainian Tomlinson can do what he has to do because if he doesn't, the ball's going to have to go to Gates. Nice target. I do think, and I know Rodney Harrison's missing, but I do think they'll be able to bra bracket him off. And now let's see if Phillip Rivers can hold the ball and find people downfield. Asani Samuel will man up on one of those wide receivers. I think it'll be hard for him. If they get this game reduced to Phillip, Watch out. Here come the Patriots. All right, let's, let's talk about that San Diego defense a little bit because the key sure. to beating Tom Brady is to get in his face and cause turn uh, and, and get sacks, which in then in turn cause right. turnovers, which the Patriots had problems with earlier in the year. San Diego, how do they, what do they see from earlier in the year is what they can do to try well, and get that same you result. Go watch, and I'm sure they watched every game tape. Tom Brady has been hit 60 times this year. It's not good. His status as a guy against the Blitz has not been good. It's more about Matt Light and the lineman not being able to handle it. There's two ways to do that. Hide, try to run the ball in a, in a power set. You can't do that against Jamal Williams inside and the defensive ends, Oshansky and um, the kid from Northwest. I can't think of his name. Luis Cast Castillo. Castillo. Yep. You, you can't do it. And he recognized that. Don't be surprised if you see him come to the huddle with three tight ends, two wide receivers, and then spread everybody out. Like I said, that's how they played the Colts a couple of years ago when they had to deal with Dwight Freeney and Robert Mathis and they didn't feel they matched up with the tackles. They didn't power run against them. They spread them out and threw the ball. That's what they're going to do here. All right, league's MVP with 31 touchdowns in LaDainian Tomlinson. Tom Brady, who should be in the Pro Bowl, but has three Super Bowl rings, so I'm sure he'll take that instead. Who's your winner? You know, Tom Brady has only five interceptions in postseason play. He hasn't thrown one in six weeks. He's got a terrific football team. I just believe that the San Diego Chargers have the best team in football. And they may get a defensive touchdown. They may get a turnover to create a short field. This will be a low-scoring game. This will be a battle to the end. It'll be a field goal involved. Talk to a couple special teams coaches who think, really, the, the special teams advantage goes to San Diego. They've got a punter that can put the ball inside the 20. He's done it 35 times this year. The two touchbacks, he'll force time to go a long field. I think the San Diego Chargers win this game. I can't believe I'm saying it because I thought Brady was a guy that was invincible, but I do think San Diego. If it comes down to field goals, you have Nate Kading for San Diego 
and Steven Gaskowski for New right. England, a rookie, because they let Adam Vinatieri go, who is in the Indianapolis, who will play at Baltimore. It all comes full circle again. All right, folks, the game, 4.30 on CBS. NFL Today hits your way, CBS at 4 o'clock. And for more on this one or any other in the divisional uh, round, be sure to stay right here on CBS Sports Line. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Lowitz. It should be a tremendous football game. Enjoy it. Take care. Thank you.